You will not be using an adult saber. You will be using a child saber. We are at Goldsmith Elementary. This is the lit and camp. We are lit and fencing. So the students get to do literacy along with a fencing program. They are reading the book called The Proudest Blue. It is a very cultural, diverse book. Oh, I need to tell you about this. Okay. The author is a fencer too. She is like one of the um, Muslim American women to, I think, win an Olympic title. The book that we're reading is, is really, really interesting. It's about two girls who are, oh, the oldest one has a hijab and people are making fun of her. They're learning reading skills such as the character, the setting, um, tying in those details that are in the story along with their fencing skills that they are also learning. One, two. It's kind of new to me because sometimes I do like other sports. This is really new to me. Up, over, squat, back. Up, over, squat, back. They are learning the techniques of fencing. Bounce, now turn. So we start off with footwork, conditioning, and then by the end of it, they get to actually practice. But they have to learn the basics before they get to the final part. There we go. We are doing our stretches. We are also learning how to move inside of fencing because fencing moving is kind of really, really complicated because it's not like normal moving. It's highly engaging. So yes, they're working, but they don't realize they're working because they're having so much fun. They're getting hands-on experience. So they're learning skills for the classroom, but skills that will take them outside of the classroom. It's amazing. You see light bulbs go off. You get to see how they apply that knowledge and what they're using in the actual skill. And they just, they love it. Because sometimes when I get home, I get kind of tired, but it's fun.